Hey folks, what you see here is something I had to build because I couldn't find one online already made. What this is, is a cutting machine, if you want to call it that, for cutting brass stock. And the beauty of all this, this brass stock is it's very precision made and you can get all different sizes and they all fit inside of each other. So with this brass stock with tubes and solid rods, you can actually build up very complex um, rod assemblies or, or shafts or whatever you want to make. Um, I've had a lot of success with this in the past. And the problem though is cutting this stuff usually involves me with a hacksaw and a vise and these things just get ripped up and they usually get deformed doing that. And so it's very problematic to make nice cuts with this. So I had to hem and haw, figure out a way to make nice cuts because we need nice cuts going forward for the shafts and assemblies for the Paradox generators and stuff. And so uh, what you see here is a Dremel on a board with a cutting wheel and this is a moving slide that allows me to feed a rod or any kind of flat stock. Uh, it doesn't have to be rod, it could be uh, flat, it could be uh, tube, uh, rectangular, whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay, and what this is, this is a little guide set up so when I feed this into there it gives me exact, for this particular cut, exactly an eighth of an inch of a cut. Okay, what I'm going to do is demonstrate this now. Let me just move the camera in closer. So, okay, so what I'm doing, putting the rod up against the uh, guide and then slowly feeding it in. Now, what I found if I use a screwdriver and just use a screwdriver as a little lever, level, lever to feed it slowly, it works a lot better. Now what I found for best results is you pull it back and then you flip it over to do the other side and you get better results. There we go. All right, this is a close-up of the part we just made. You'll notice it's a little rough. So all we really have to do is take a little bit of a needle file to it to get rid of the burrs. So what are we using this for? Yeah, here is one of the parts we've made. Okay, this is a 1 8 inch shaft. It's a half inch long and it's got two uh, tubes that have been laminated to create kind of like a cup at the end. Okay, and what this does, this goes into our Paradox 3 rotor or trolley I call it and it goes on a spring and the spring goes in the hole. Get it in there. Okay, so now we have a spring-fed little plunger. Okay, and then what we're going to be using for our brushes is two millimeter pencil lead, heavy or hard HB. And then what we have is two millimeter brass as the guide for the brush. And that's going to be in the hole and it's going to be held down by the magnet holder. But the two millimeter is going to fit in there. And let me get it lined up right. And so that's going to help apply the brush's pressure against the outside ring for the Paradox 3. 
So that's the purpose for doing all this very, very fine work and the need for this little cutting machine. It'll help me make much better brass parts in the future going forward. Uh, thank you very much. That's all for today, or all for now.